I am back here in the shop with the good old Datsun 620. I, uh, I just picked this thing up. The video of me picking it up is the last video. Feel free to go back and watch that, but you know what? Don't even worry about it. You're here now, watch this video, catch that another time. Anyways, it's time to dive into this thing. What do I know about it? Uh, I know it's multiple colors, it's very brown and kind of rusty, but it's just surface rust, we think. Um, it's got an engine, might be locked up. I have no idea. It's time to find out. Uh, I did get a grill for it. It's over here, maybe I'll show you real quick. So, uh, priorities, right? Priority one, she needs a grill. And I got a key for it, so we can get that ignition system sorted. So, we'll see if it's locked up today. We'll get that grill on her. I don't know. Hopefully we'll throw a key in her. We've got to clean out the inside. The inside is real nasty. Maybe I'll even put her in the air and take a good look underneath. I haven't done that yet. I did look at some receipts in the last registration in the glove box, which was from 93, 1993, which is 30 years old. I know that because I'm 30 years old and I was born in 93. So I don't know if that's the last time this thing was on the road. But it could be. This thing could be not like sitting in a field for the last 30 years, which is insane. So, we got to get this thing in the air. And uh, then we're going to take a look at her. And hopefully she's all good. Look, my daughter's painting my nails. Anyways, let's get her up. <laughs> Look at all the cars we got in the shop. Yeah, lots of Z's and a motorcycle. And a forerunner that doesn't run. Yep, but it's pretty cool. All right, girl, get up there. There, okay, we got her in the air. I got the light on, my flashlight on the phone. Let's see how well you guys can see this. Okay, so there we got engine. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll look back at that later. Um, no transmission, that's fly, this is pressure plate. Cause someone made this an auto, I don't know why. Maybe, oh maybe this is an original engine cause this is a 78. Huh, maybe, maybe this is a replacement engine. Or maybe it was just a auto out of a 77, who knows. But I got all trans stuff in that box, so. She's going back to manual and uh, Okay, let's work our way back here. She's uh, a little crusty, not too bad. There's a thing of a majig, and uh, I don't know, probably, probably the flux capacitor there. All right, we got a muffler. Yeah, that's that's a muffler. That's uh, some homemade bracketry. Yep, there's suspension. And, oh, look, this, okay. Oh, okay, this is done pretty well, actually. Well, I say that loosely. The execution, maybe not so well. So this is basically like a four-link, because you got link, link. So one, two, and then you got two on the other side. One, two, it's right behind the gas tank, which, well, we'll look at that later. Um, so it's a four link with a pan hard bar. This is a pan hard bar, which is uh, Very bent if you can see that. Yeah, okay That's fine Yeah, that's totally fine Not but okay um, The pan hard bar keeps the axle from moving back and forth and then these the uh, four links keep the axle in place for moving back and forward. And then the airbag for lifting it up at the end, and then shocks. Really good system. Execution, very poor. Look at these welds. How rusty this is. Just like plates on top of plates. Bolts that the threads don't even come all the way out of. With washers welded on there. Just extended this whole arm with 
random plates that like not welded on the inside just on the outside and just booger welds very poor very very poor what do you do all right enough of this so that's is what it is ah gas tank this that's a problem that's a that's a wee bit of a crater that's cra holy what the they got a bracket well there's uh, some c channel to another flat piece of steel welded to uh, another piece of angle iron which is pinching the tank with some other angle steel for home renovations or something for your plumbing yeah okay that's uh, that's pretty poor okay let's uh, look over here what do we got over here you know what we have a rust free bottom of the bed for the most part that's cool you know what we got to do we got to look at this engine and we got to see if she rotates because that's my biggest fear right now what are these wires for what in heaven's name ah uh, let's that's an oil now Ugh. we'll just we'll just leave this here all right See if I can put this camera down and grab onto this thing. See if she'll rotate. Because if she don't rotate, we're in big trouble. So, all right, set you up on a cross member. Maybe you can see me. I don't know. But let's see if this thing will turn. Oh yeah. Oh, no problem. Oh, almost feels like there's compression. Oh, right on. Why are the wheels turning? No transmission. Oh, is it getting stuck or is it compression? What's going on here? I'm not running into anything. Why is she getting tight? Oh. oh, it's like half of it is loose, the other half is tight. Alright, well she spins. We're good. That is a huge win. Uh yeah, do we want to look at the front suspension? Nope. Don't want to do that. Let's clean up the inside of this thing because the boys are coming over in a couple days and they said they'd help me with the trans, so uh we'll wait for them to get that trans thrown in there and I'm gonna hopefully get everything ready for them today. All right, first things first, got my Tim Hortons. I'm from Canada, but it's late, so uh, can't go too heavy with the coffee. Anyway, interior, let's get at her. You know what, actually, not interior. Let's pop this hood. Let's get this grill on, because I'm getting tired of looking at this face. Yeah. I'm going to set you guys up and let's do this grill. We got her in. I was a little short on washers, but she good enough for now. She ain't moving. And it already looks way better. Way, way better. I'm, uh, I'm gonna close this hood. Maybe I should close the door first and grab my... Hey. That door's not straight. Grab my coffee so it doesn't fall. And let's put this hood down 
and take a look at her. Back you up just a bit. All right, here we go. This is gonna make it look way better. I hope. Get out of there. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Probably should have been gentle with that first drop. <coughs> oh no, okay. Kind of breaking it. Ooh. I should have broke something. I don't think I did. I think we're good. Let's take a look at her. You know what? I don't know. Are you seeing this too? It's better. Okay. Okay, like it's better, I guess. I'm not totally sold. Now it just looks like, like it's too high. We need a big chin spoiler or something, you know? Like, this is just like all weird space now. All right, it's better. She's way better, but she need more work. I'll get the boys working on that when they're here the next day. Tell them to bend down that thing that's bent up and see what they can come up with. I'm sure they can come up with something. Well, I got a light because it's dark in there and I want you guys to be able to see. So uh, I've been putting off getting in here and cleaning out this interior, but I think it's time. Let's check this thing out and then I got to get to clean it. I mean, like, I guess could be worse. Could be. It's not great. That's a lot of dust. Yeah, it's just caked on there. No door panel. You can see straight outside that little light there. Yeah, that's the outside. There ain't a seal in this thing. Look, no door seals, no door seals. <sighs> no door seals here. Yeah, here, no door, she no door seals. It's a problem. All right, let's get in here and take a look at this thing. Uh, all right, well, I'm sitting in it. Okay, yeah. Still coming to terms with it. Yeah, okay, I'm here. Let's, let's take a look at the seating position. I mean, all right, we could drift from here. We got, we got no mirrors, I guess. Yeah, okay, no mirrors. You know. <sighs> I don't even know where to start with this thing. We got no radios. We got defrost. It says defrost on in, or sorry, off in heat. And then it says cold and, well, oh, that's hot. A little stiff, not bad. Oh, that one. <sighs> ah, that's fine. Just needs a little lube. And we got ashtray. Ashtray. Ooh. Never been smoked in. <laughs> Doubt it. Doubt it. We got a good old shifter. Yeah, this ain't gonna stay. Uh, this is interior light timer, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Um, missing something there. We got wipers. We got, that's just, I did clean some of these off already because I wanted to see how many kilometers were on it. I didn't clean that one off yet. Yeah, temp fuel, kind of some other warning lights. 89,000 kilometers, that's what she says, let's be honest. It's probably 189, maybe 289, probably 289. And we got a tack, which I was just not super excited for until I found out that apparently the tacks pretty rare so um yeah i actually like these gauges they pretty sweet i really like them what else we got here i did go through the glove box already and just i'm not even gonna open it because it broke when i opened it before just a bunch of receipts of previous owners so probably not a great thing to show that anyways um but yeah it's there these seats i don't know looks like out of a cavalier maybe just a slightly stained Somebody definitely wet themselves. 
That might have been me when I first saw this thing. It wasn't. It wasn't, though. All right, we got... Oh, oh that's broken. We don't need this stuff anyways. No, no makeup mirror. That's lovely. Headliner, not horrible. Oh, I say that, and now I touch it. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is more brokenage. Don't break it more, Ben. This seat feels like I'm sitting on a rock, honestly. Hey, look, we got a mirror. Only mirror in uh, the whole truck. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna throw that out for weight savings. And we got a crack in the windshield. So, yep, this, uh, this is what it is. Well, after spending a good 20 minutes vacuuming, it looks the same. Well, a little better. It's, uh, it's pretty nasty. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there that I don't know. Uh, starter, whatever that round halo thing is. And, and well, we got the, we got the window operator, so that's good. And, uh, that, which is, uh, well, let's be honest. That's probably gonna mean she's not gonna run. Yeah, okay. Whatever this is, don't ask me. But uh, if we need it, this car comes well supplied with its own uh, carry-all for all the parts. All right, well, we got, uh, I need to put the new key ignition in and I noticed the one I have looks different. Will it fit? I don't know. But, uh, it's also getting late. Boys are coming over pretty soon, so maybe I'll save that for next time and make one of them do it. I mean, help one of them learn how to work on cars for free, building my stuff. I'm So, we're counting today as a win. Since we're not dealing with that, we got her vacuumed out. Hey, it don't look great, but it's better. So that's a win. She's not locked up. That is a huge win. I was so nervous this thing was locked up. We got the grill on. She's looking way happier. Actually, yeah, the more I look at it, heck yeah, she looks way better. That is freaking golden. She does still need some big chin spoiler, but she looking fantastic. I need to get her off the lift so I can back up and look at her. Anyways, guys, hope you're liking whatever this is. Still could use a name. I don't know. Falling apart. Yep, that's accurate. But, uh, <sighs> anyways, I'm going to go get some sleep. Maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. Adios.